What's going on everyone and welcome to the Rab Mine YouTube channel and as most of you know I am a CPU mining addict so I got all these rigs here my GPUs are still currently turned off because they haven't really found anything that's profitable on them yet it's gonna take some time I believe break even cost is around the six or seven cent mark and I'm hanging out at about 11 cent USD power so it's not worth it for me at this point in time but my CPUs are raking in the cash so far um, over here I still have three I got to set up here I'm waiting for another CPU to come in in the mail I got my RAM three motherboards and I need my splitters the 24 pin blue ones that you see over there I'm waiting for them to come in as well then I can slap these together and get another four out here because I still have that 5950x on the test bench in the other room and then it'll be paired up with one of these 3900x's so when that's all said and done that will be around 30 CPU rigs total so I'm currently going all in on Raptorium. Now, why am I going all in on Raptorium? Because I feel based on the previous bear run and moving into the future and some things they're doing and they're very active devs, my farm has the potential from right now up until the next bull run of about 2025 to make around $320,000. I know that's insane. But right now, currently, I want to try to fill up that smart node. So why do I want to get that smart node filled up? You need 1.8 million Raptorium coins. I think I need another 60,000 or so. We'll go to the workstation later on, look at all the numbers and figure some stuff out. But Raptorium recently released their futures update. So what is their futures update? Now, how I gather it is, it's pretty much allows the implementation across smart contracts and everything across their chain so once that does get implemented and assets and peoples begin building across the raptorium network the smart nodes are going to be the validators in that so already we have the smart nodes paying out some nice interest on your staked raptorium but now they may be getting even more staked interest because that chain the smart nodes the back end you know the 51 percent double spend protection which is the backup security of the proof of work chain will now also be validating those smart contracts and everything increasing those rewards so it's kind of neat and how it's working and everything obviously we got the proof of work with our cpus on the ghost rider algorithm validating the transactions and everything so now in the future here we will have the smart nodes in the background validating all the smart contract stuff so it's kind of cool how this you know back and forth is kind of playing out for raptorium and the devs and everything they're doing so let's go to the workstation kind of look at all the numbers that's going on and why i think this may make upwards of over 300,000 in the little over two years all right so here i am at the inodes blockchain and we can see your daily pr here 0.059 percent weekly is 0.415 and your monthly is 1.78% with your yearly of 21.662. You can add them all up and they pretty much equal the same thing based on their breakdown here. Now I'm going into my stats and I can see I have a total of 1.7 million total Raptorium staked. Estimated daily earnings is about 956 Raptorium. This is none of my power or anything coming out here, but I am currently mining at the raptorium dot zone mining pool here i guess so i'm at 4882 so i'm averaging about 4357 per day here so i'm just going to go with 4000 to make the numbers nice and easy but the main reason i'm using raptorium zone is one it's in the top five mining pools it is not the top place like we do see in uh, flock pool but based on previous tests you know one of these middle ground pools does seem more profitable because based on all this hash rate and the blocks that they actually find you're actually not finding enough blocks to cover everybody in there when it comes to pure profitability it is a nice steady income across the pool but i always did find that you know this middle ground pool here was the most profitable and it looks like these are all pretty close in profitability which leads me to raptorium zone and inodes now they kind of work together hand in hand at this point if we go down to the achievements here in inodes if we scroll down to the bottom you can see zone miner now spend at least 18 of the past 24 hours mining to your inodes onboarding address at raptorium zone does drop your fees 
by 1%. Now you do have to continue to mine here. Once you hit that 18 hours, you can't just leave to another pool because you will lose this achievement. So at the bottom, it says you have to keep mining to the pool for the achievement to remain active. So I need a few more coins here to hit that full node address, which actually is another achievement here. And it'll drop it by 0.2% to have enough collateral to run your own node. Now, a few things with inodes and Sully nodes or any nodes, there's other node providers out there for Raptorium. Keep in mind, you're not holding access to your private keys. You are sending your Raptorium to a third party, which means if something happens here, they could take off and all your coins will be, will be gone as well. So that is a risk that you're gonna have to take. I don't think they're ever gonna do this, but if it does happen, you know, I am warning here and they could just run away with all my coins. That's a possibility. Current chains I am aware of that do run shared smart nodes here for Raptorium is obviously inodes. We have Sully nodes and there was Raptor nodes. Now I do believe Sully nodes and Raptor nodes kind of merged together. So now they are one entity and there is another one coming into the game very soon, but I'm not sure if I'm actually allowed to say uh, if they're full bore or not yet. So once I actually have that confirmed, I will update you on that matter. But so far right now, there's two confirmed ones that you can utilize inodes or Sully nodes. Sully nodes, I believe only has like a 5% fee where again, inodes is upwards of 8%. They increase it due to the drop in price and everything to help supply and pay for all the nodes. But take it any way you want. I am currently using inodes myself right now. So I do need 1.8 million. Now, if I subtract how much is needed, I do have about 63,820 coins left to go. So I'm gonna keep using Raptor Zone to get these coins at 4,000 a day. So if I just divide this by the 4,000, just to you know, get a nice even number here, that's about 15.9 days that I gotta keep mining to fill up that node. Now, if I was to keep mining Raptorium, for the full two years here, which, you know, I may end up doing because the prices and, you know, the potential future gain is pretty massive. So let's just kind of look at the numbers here. So if we look at the past bull run of Raptorium in USD, it peaked out at about 0.079 cents. No, so pretty much eight cents here. If I come into here and now 4,000 coins per day by eight cents, is 320 coins. Obviously, we're not at that price right now. We're spec mining, hoping that Raptorium will see this jump again, and maybe it goes to 10 cents or 15 cents next bull run. We have no idea, but if it hits at least 8 cents, that's about $320 a day if we hodl into here. Now, this is just for mining. This is not my smart node reward. So we got 320. That is per day. We're going to times that by 30. That is $9,600 per month. We times that by 12. That is $115,200 per year here. And now we're going to times that by, say, two years for the next bull run, you know, a little over two years. That's about $230,000 uh, straight mining this. Now, on top of this, this is all going to be going into your inodes dashboard. So as you stack up more, you're also gonna be getting more and more daily rewards coming out. And then when the smart contracts and everything go live, which actually should be happening sometime within the next few months or so, I don't know the for sure timeline, then this will be going up again even more. So let's say we hit eight cents and we're making about a thousand RTM per day. A thousand RTM per day at eight cents is probably simple calculation here. We're gonna go 1,000 times 0 0.08. You know, that's $80 USD a day times that by 30. So you can pretty much stop mining and make $2,400 per month by doing nothing at that point if you have, you know, that amount of collateral within your inos and the price hits that point. Or you could just pull it all out and sell it. But I always like to say, you know what, why sell the entire lump sum? And you can just pretty much live off this type of interest while keeping the big stash in the bank is one way to look at it. Or you could just sell it all and, you know, multiply your rigs by a thousand more. <laughs> Now there's another way you can look at this kind of CPU mining strategy as well. And that is that Raptorium isn't really the most profitable thing to mine today. Currently right now it is Dero. Now Dero does bounce around back and forth between uh, various other coins, Jagger coin, uh, Baba coin, and sometimes uh, Theta, Fida there. 
does become ahead of it. VCAX is actually a top contender in there as well, but they're always bouncing around. But for the most part, Duro does remain the most profitable coin to mine on a CPU today. But if we look into the past and then the future here, that it would actually come down to be making about $126 a day unless it exceeds its previous all-time high. Now, Duro has been seeing, uh, you know, it's been holding its steady gains here at around the five to six dollars Canadian, which is a little over four to five dollars USD. So, you know, in terms of doing this and my strategy and stuff, like I do mine Duro enough to cover my power for the month. And that way, once I know my power bills are going to be covered, I then swap to other coins that I think may earn future gains in the future, like Raptorium here. $369 a day versus Duro's bull run of $126 a day. All that current hash rates and pricing, and I do that. Or, you know, I just stick to Duro and maybe it'll see new heights. So there's a whole bunch of different coins and strategies to kind of look at here. And, you know, it's always changing every day based on everything. But right now, I am really looking to complete that full Raptorium smart node so I can get, you know, another achievement and just have that complete node in control for that next bull run all right guys so that's kind of what i am doing right now in a nutshell now remember this could change at any point in time so you know uh example vcax whole bunch of hash rate could just dump off of it people are like okay this isn't profitable i leave so if the numbers are looking good i might you know change it up a little bit and move on to vcox and start mining that up because as hash rate levels do drop profitability comes back up and i don't really hodl all my coins all the time there's some like i said i am hodling for but there's a whole bunch of coins that are still in the background that i didn't really mention or anything yet that when hash rate hits certain levels i do move to them and i do sell them daily and then potentially swap that into something like raptorium into duro or whatever else or just take profits and then buy more rigs or something so that's what i do there's a lot of profitable coins out there if you just keep looking around and constantly i am moving around but right now my main focus is trying to fill up that raptorium smart node for the future bull run because it's time to start slowly taking positions for that so you can potentially earn the most amount that you possibly can now a safe bet is just to throw everything straight into bitcoin and see some nice maybe four to seven times gains now some of these other coins like maybe flux obviously raptorium uh you know ergo things like that if you maybe hodl some of those or buy some of those coins when the bottom does come we are seeing a nice crypto pump right now so now everyone thinks we're probably in a bull run or something but i still don't think the bottom has come yet december january february i think that's when the bottom will fall take your positions and get ready for 2025 because we're going to start going to the moon and it's going to be an insane ride once it happens once again Thank you for watching this video, guys. I will see you at the moon. Rabbit out.